Hi guys, it's Tampa Tech and I'll show you a new, easy, free way to root your phone. This is the top two programs to root your phone. I have a Samsung Galaxy S5 brand new phone and it has a running Android version 4.4, which is the latest Android version as of right now, today. So I go to uh, download.cnet.com. The link will be in the video description below if you're interested. And One Click Root is a really excellent program. It has a user rating of four and a half stars out of five stars. And then Kingo is another great program. And that is about four stars out of five stars. So just download those straight to your desktop and open them up. So I'm gonna start off um, showing you which devices. Here's Kingo's list of supported devices that you can root. HTC, Motorola, Samsung, LG, Sony, some other brands. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I opened up Kingo, and I tried a one-click root, and for some reason, it wouldn't work for me. I'm gonna try Kingo and see if that works. But uh, again, these are the top two best routing. So if it doesn't, um, if Kingo doesn't work, try one-click root. If one-click root doesn't work, try Kingo. And they do, they do have a list of ADB drivers for by manufacturer, and here's the different links. So you may have to actually get this installed by clicking Samsung and then click on ADB. And so if you're running Android 4.3 or later, then you would have to click on that. And first thing you wanna do, no matter what program you use, you wanna to go to settings on your phone so what you want to do is go into setting, and then system, which is close to the bottom. And then if you don't see developer options, that, that's not under your system settings, then what you want to do is click on about device or about phone. And then on the build number, you see the build number right there. Just keep on tapping that until you see a pop-up that says developer mode on back out. Now your icon should appear, developer options. Just click on that. It is turn on developer options. And then hit OK. And then USB debugging. Check on that. Hit OK. And then back out of that. And then you want to go to security. And in security, I check on this just in case unknown sources so I check on that and I left that unchecked just in case you go switch it back when you're done rooting so all these options after you're done rooting you want to switch them back to normal and you want to use the USB um, data cable some um, USB micro USB cables may be only for charging your device like the cheap ones Make sure you're using the data slash charging cable. And just plug it in. And you want to plug it directly into your PC. Don't plug it into a USB hub. And you may have to restart your computer or the program or update the Kingo program or one click root program. Update that for it to work properly. So right now it's connecting and it says root status no so that's my model on my phone and here's the little instructions they tell you what you should uh, do but it, um, act at your own risk rooting your device uh, avoid your warranty but uh, I never heard anyone bricking their device using these programs they're very highly recommended you can check out the reviews at CNET so let's click on uh, root device and during this process make sure you're uh, your phone doesn't go locked or anything so turn off the lock screen and keep the phone awake and the, the, the positive things about rooting your phone is that you can install custom ROMs you can uh, you know get GL to SD card app which uh, downloads your whole entire 2 gig games or 1 gig games to your SD card which saves internal memory on your phone uh, you can add on your advanced antivirus software you could uh, add firewall for added le uh, level of protection and privacy say through booting right now so that's another good thing about uh, rooting your phone what else 
uh, change your boot up screen, a whole bunch of things. And it says root succeeded. So let's go ahead and it's gonna reboot. And let's go ahead and hit finish and let it reboot. Also, I want to let you know that you should not uninstall, do not uninstall root checker. And you want to keep your super SU in your apps because that's your root. Now I'm going to tell you three reasons why you should root your phone. One is ROM Toolbox app. Click on that. This will allow you to fully customize your Android phone to its fullest potential. You change your icons on the top taskbar or even you could change the font or boot up screen. You can even go and access all your files in your phone using root browser. And you can overclock your CPU and have full control over your processor, which is really cool. And change all these cool free boot uh, animations. So that's really pretty nifty stuff and have your different themes. Now with Avast, you don't need root access to have Avast, but when you click on more tools, you have to have root access for firewall. This allows you more privacy and protection on your apps, individual apps. So right here it tells you this feature requires root access. So you just click on that and now you can have all the protection and privacy you want on these apps. Now with these awesome games coming out there, high definition, they're eating up your internal memory like one or two gig games. Now you could transfer them to your SD card, but you can't do that unless you have root access. So to get this working, you need to have your phone rooted. So just click on that. And now I, my this game right here is 1.5 gigabytes. It's a memory, internal memory hog. So I just transferred it to my SD card and now I freed up uh, 1.5 gigabytes. So between these two games, that's two gigabytes of free internal memory. I just freed up and moved over to my SD card. It's awesome. And you just hit play and just play your game like you normally would play. Now if you want to unroot your phone, only thing you have to do is plug it back in, select US um, debugging and uh, click on remove root and it'll take off your route, no problem. So let me know what you think. If this worked for you, give me a thumbs up. And if you know anyone that wants to root their phone, go ahead and click the share button below and share it to Facebook or G+. And if you like easy tech you know, fixes and reviews like this, go ahead and subscribe to Tampa Tech. Later, guys.